Hi, my name is Alan Tubbs and I'm the product manager for controls and IoT solutions for Rexroth in the US. I'd like to welcome you today to our session where I'll be telling you about the ways that you can use our new ControlX automation platform in your packaging applications. I've been working in the packaging sector for about 20 years. In fact, my first project was a Rice Krispie bar wrapper line with 10 flow wrappers and a row removal distribution system. Uh, it was commissioned in Athens, Georgia in the middle of summer in a building with no air conditioning. And then it was shipped to uh, Mexico in the middle of the desert. So uh, since then, my packaging experiences have gotten much better. And I hope that today, after this presentation, you can find ways to uh, improve your packaging machine experiences as well. First thing I'd like to show you is just the improvements in the size of the components. We've cut the size of the drives in half sometimes more depending on the configuration. And this becomes important because when you're designing a control cabinet that needs to be embedded in the frame of your machine or mounted near the machine, a small footprint is critical to making the machine easy to clean and to keep the space around the machine clean and accessible. So anytime you can shrink, shrink the size of the control cabinet, you're instantly recovering the cost of the size of the cabinet itself and adding value to the system by shrinking the overall footprint. We've also reduced the number of required components by providing double axis drives and moving to single motor cable designs for our motors. Not only have we reduced the size of our drives and saved on a number of components, but we've also reduced the size of our motors while keeping the same performance levels. We've also reduced the size of our control components like our new Control X Core controller and our own Control X IO system, but we didn't stop at hardware components when we were looking to save you time and effort. We improved our software handling, which you'll hear about in a few minutes, and we even worked on simplifying our part numbering systems and bill materials to save you time in ordering and specifying exactly what you need for your machine. But we did all that without sacrificing options to meet your need. We still have the broadest offering of servo drives on the market. And here you can see our first wave of drive offerings available today, along with the second wave, which will be available early next year. So there's lots of options to help you scale your machines to the exact demands of your specific application, which saves cost and cabinet space and energy costs as well. If you're an OEM or an end user that specifies components for a wide range of different machinery, you know that being able to use common components across different platforms can save you time and effort. And if you use the same components, design can be reduced to close to a cut and paste effort. But two things that must be considered are the functional capabilities and the cost. So can one component cover both applications in both aspects or is one or the other going to push me to choose a different component for each application? So either way, whether you spend time and money on components that either don't have an efficient fit or you spend the engineering time to design in the right fit, you're still spending more money. But with ControlX Core, we took a radically new approach. We designed one powerful board to run in any of the three platforms. The board is powerful enough to run complex applications, but cost effective for even the most basic applications. We used economies of scale to be able to produce a high power controller for a very low cost. Our scaling and performance and price points are then determined by the software that you add to the controller for each application. Think of the advantages of using one control board. You no longer need to redesign the controller for every new machine, and you no longer need to stock multiple types of PLCs for different types of machines. Replacements and spare parts become extremely simple because you only need to stock one controller. ControlX Core software is managed by different apps. Here you see our services and engineering applications, but what actually ends up in the ControlX Core controller are the runtime apps and the core runtime. We use apps to separate functions into individual components so they can be purchased and implemented as needed. Consider the past methods of deploying functions. Typically you have a base firmware that's capable of all the functions that runs on the controller, and then you have an engineering suite that handles all the configuration and programming possibilities for that system as well. Downside to this approach is that it isn't very efficient. Firmware files are unnecessarily large for simple applications, and engineering suites tend to be very large programs that require a lot of memory and processing power. But by breaking out the functions into autonomous apps, functions can be chosen a la carte as the application demands. Let's look at a couple simple examples to illustrate the point. Our three examples include a simple conveyor system, a high-speed Cartner machine, and a complex bottling line with robotics. For each of the machines, we're going to use the same ControlX Core standalone controller for each machine. 
but we're going to vary the apps that we choose to meet the demands for each machine. For the first machine, you can imagine that being a simple application, maybe we only need the PLC functionality and an HMI. But for the high-speed Kartner, we might need to add motion, maybe some special technical function blocks, uh, maybe some Ethernet I.O. And for the complex line, like the full bottling line, that say maybe it fills bottles with liquid and caps them, cartons them, palletizes them, etc., you'll need many different types of functions for that application. And maybe you would add functions like IoT functions and robotics in addition to all the others. But you can see that in each case, I'm choosing different software, not different hardware. And I really want to point out this difference because it's not the norm in the industry today. In fact, I recently counted up the number of PLC platforms for our main packaging control competitor in the U.S. and counted over 160 different hardware variants for PLCs alone. But all those variants start to add up on your inventory shelves when you need to stock replacements for field service needs. Another feature of this type of app architecture is that it becomes very easy to simulate it virtually. In fact, you can test all your code at any time on your PC with the Control-X virtual core, even simulating motion feedback from servo drives. This helps you to verify machine operation before the machine is actually built and speeds up commissioning once the machine is up and running. So if you'd like to take simulation a little bit further into the design phase of the machine, Control-X Automation has connections into popular simulation languages and platforms that help you test designs before you even start cutting metal. We have engineering teams that are ready to assist you to help you build your own digital twin. I mentioned at the beginning of my presentation that we were looking for ways to make the ordering process and bill of materials easy as well. The Control-X App Store is central to making that possible. Our App Store is how apps can be purchased for your machine, making it easy to get the software components that you need for your application. And this makes field service and field upgrades very simple and fast, avoiding the need to stock parts on site or ship replacement parts. It also opens the door to our partners to develop their own apps and run alongside of our Control-X Core apps. Since the architecture is built on an open source Linux operating system, Anyone can use our SDK to build their own app and distribute it in our app store. And continuing along with the theme of remote connection and serviceability, the Control-X device portal is our central software solution for managing machinery that is installed around the world. This allows you to manage app installation and updates as well as perform backup and recovery operations from the comfort and convenience of your company headquarters. This saves traveling expenses and speeds your response to your customers' needs. Why invest in a device portal? Well, traveling costs are one thing, but as your fleet grows, the complexity of managing the fleet is simpler when there's a central software to manage it. Imagine trying to provide a security update to 100 machines that are already in the field in different parts of the world without a central management system. It'd be necessary to find the right contacts at each of the customer, send them files or replacement controllers, and then verify that each machine was properly updated after the fact. And then new backups would need to be made, stored, and recorded. With a device portal, it's easy to roll out all those updates to all those machines all at once. The current status of each machine and update history is available and recorded, providing an archive of each individual machine. To help with diagnostics when actually on site, the Control-X drive has a dynamic display panel to give instant status information on the drive. With a digital service assistant app on your phone or tablet, it's possible to scan a dynamic QR code on the front of the drive to get instant information like the current status and part number information of the drive. The app combines this information with direct connections to our service department and instant access to the exact manuals and documentations you might be interested in for your particular drive. Spare parts can be ordered on the spot and all information you need is literally at your fingertips. That's all the time we have for today, but I encourage you to visit our site at www.controlx-automation.com to learn more. And thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of Pack Expo 2020.